this link. We do have browser blocking enabled. Oh, it wants me to turn it off. So you, can you skip add? Mega NZ. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, download. That little window popped up. I just clicked on it and I just put allow on device and I'm doing start. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes on that one. Let's go and let's extract this whole file. And we're there. That's a very good one to figure out. So here we go. Sony Packaging Manager. Here it is. Apparently this has been removed from their website. Getting a little bit closer. Finish. We'll go x86. We're going to go Sony. Sony, Sony, Sony. Right here. And then we're going to use these two files. So let's grab these two. And let's just copy these things out of there. Let's copy it and then let's just paste it. And let's go continue. And yep, there's one more continue. This one. We're going to run it here. Oh, there's what it looks like. You can tell this is like Windows Vista or Windows 7 type of thing. It renders as the Finland fat flag. Oh, yeah, no, it doesn't. It just shows uh, this little thing like FI on there. Let's see. Um, nickname to be registered. This is going to be remote, remote play. And so now over on the PS3, uh, we're going to go to settings, Let's see game settings, remote play, um, register device. Okay, I'm registering the device. Six, five, nine. Let's see what we get here. Woohoo! Okay, that was easy. It says register device process is complete. To use remote play, select network, then remote play on the PlayStation 3 system. And then hit connect on this screen. Of course, right? It's going to have to be that easy. Okay, so let's see. There's a few things I know we need to fix up, but uh, let's go do this. Let's go here and let's go settings. Set depending on the network. Uh, yeah, I think that's okay. It should be pretty fast. Let's go keyboard. That's fine. We use that. Remote play. Network. You can sign in automatically the next time. Auto update image quality. Let's just do this. See, it's cutting off a bunch of the screen here. You see that? How it's cutting all this off? I've got my trusty controller here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can't use this. Because <laughs> you're on the PC. So you have to use the... Uh, the arrow keys and things like that. So let's check it out. So here we go. Okay, let's see how well this works. And let's go to remote place settings. It was Z. So it was uh, a Z button. So this is just for audio. Okay, so maybe this isn't going to help us that much. Once we get into game settings, let's go. There is a bit of a delay. I need, think I need to go fix this other thing real quick. Let's go to this one. Let's go to settings. And let's fix the response speed. I don't know, maybe even like hardware. I don't know what that will do. Uh, we're going to keep all that just like it is. Yeah, all that looks great. Let's go four and let's go one. Okay, well, seems a little bit better. And then inside of this one, this is where a lot of people will be more than likely to spend some of their time. And let's see, let's go O. Isn't it O that goes back? No, that's X that goes back. Let's see if any of these will launch here. Okay, so most of these are not going to be very useful is what I'm, I'm feeling here. Um, and then this other one that I added on here, this one right here 
Uh, it's also for save tools. So if you've got save games, they sign them based off of the um, the console ID. So you can use these save tool uh, applications to be able to go back in there, modify a person's save. So you could download somebody's saves. You can get it to work on your, your system, and then you could obviously resume where they're at. Unfortunately, after using this tool for remote play, um, I'm not happy with it. <laughs> and so while it was good to learn that this is available, uh, the limitations, you know, of not being able to like, you know, display, you know, some of these applications right here means it would probably be worthwhile to me. Um, when I first went into this, I was hearing a lot more about people didn't like this remote play because only certain games was affected. I'm not worried about that because I'm not aiming to play any games. Um, but that's also a deal breaker for me because I wouldn't be able to use this method uh, in order to show some of the stuff that um, that I'm interested in doing uh, with it. So it looks like for me at least, I'll have to switch back to a capture card scenario. Uh, but for others, I think it's very interesting to see kind of like where all this was at, how to kind of get it built and kind of get it set up. Wasn't really that many steps uh, to it. Um, but yeah, I feel that, you know, for the most part, uh, mission accomplished, at least for the day today. Well, I'll take, take care and appreciate you. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.